What's, What's up, guys? It's me and Jenna back at it again with the white vans. What's, What's up, guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel, and for today, we will be answering overly personal questions. Yeah, so this is gonna get probably intense. I don't know what these questions are. We'll word out the questions, but we're both gonna be answering, so let's see. Before we get this video started, guys, please don't forget to leave a like because it really helps the video out and we appreciate it. And also, don't forget to subscribe because only 30% of you guys are subscribed. Really? I think it's less than that. It might be, honestly. We're gonna get right into the questions. I have them written down on my phone. You ready? I'm ready. Would you ever consider selling your underwear? Uh, what do you think? How much? For the right price. Like, you name the price. What price? So, is like it? a million dollars? A million dollars. Yes. Easily. As long as, no, I wouldn't as long as you're on board. So, you would? If we're doing it together, like, you get a cut, obviously. You get like 10%. I get a cut. Oh, I get a cut? You get 10%. All right. Really? <laughs> <laughs> 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As long as you're on board, yeah, but that's really gross. I have to wash it like thousands sometimes before. What if, no, no, it has to be worn. Yeah, I have to wash it thousands of times beforehand. No, no, no. You have to wear it and then... Oh then my god. It. Oh. You can't wash it. Oh, I don't know. That's kind of gross. <laughs> What's the price? A billion? Could you billion? Could you be... What is the number? <laughs> Would you? Yeah. <laughs> For 10k? 100k. 100k least? Mm -hmm. Least. That's the minimum I do. Guys, who wants to buy Will's underwear for 100k? Yeah, for real. How much of a cut would I get? You'd get 2%. Yeah, okay. It's two thousand dollars. That's not happening. Be grateful. What is the last thing you searched on your phone? Oh, what is it? Mine's the Brooklyn Nets game. Mine's Brooklyn. Oh. Nets. What is that? The Mexican restaurant? I was looking at the Mexican restaurant because my grandma was asking. <laughs> This Mexican restaurant is like actual Mexican food. It's not like a Chipotle and it's super good and yummy and flavorful and ah But it's also so cute on the inside and you actually feel like you're in an actual Mexican place. Have you ever been to Mexico? Yeah No, I haven't. So how do you know what a real- Oh Okay, speak Spanish. Como te llamo? Me llamo Jenna. Y tú? You messed up in the first sentence. Did I? Como te llamas? You said como te llamo. Okay. Estoy bien? No? Hmm? Si? Por qué? Que pasa? Would you ever sell feet pictures? Depends how much. What would be the right price for feet pictures? For one photo? Yeah, sure, one photo. I mean, it's just my feet. People see them anyway, so probably like 30K. 30K? I would do like 10K. Yeah, me too, actually. $10,000, guys, if you want them. As you long got them. As long as you're on board. I don't like the idea of like, ugh, that's just weird. Why are people in feet? You can see my sock. <laughs> 10K, that's your price. Do you pee in public pools? <laughs> well, I know your answer. What? I feel like you definitely do. No, I definitely do. In my pool? Uh, yes. Huh? I have. I'm not saying like I do it on the regular, oh, but like- Oh, my dad's gonna love this video. No, 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 no. I feel like that- <laughs> It came off wrong though. I'm not like, going into pools to pee in them or like- But you've peed in my pool? But I have peed in pools. you peed in my pool. But I peed in pools. you I'm peed not gonna in my pool? I'm not gonna clarify the specific ones, How many but... times have you peed in my pool? I don't know. I've been in your pool a million times. So how many times have you peed in it? Twice. Oh my god, that's such a lie. Times 20. <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's no. a joke. I don't. Only if we're in like a vacation spot and I really have to pee, then I don't really care. I guess I'll just go. But that's kind of embarrassing. Who that's knows? That's gross. Like, what if you're wearing something and it stains yellow? Like, that's embarrassing. So I normally well, don't. First of all, if it stains yellow, your pee must really be yellow. I'm just saying. You need to drink some Aguafina. What? <laughs> <laughs> So most of the time, no, unless I like really have to pee and I'm like, I really don't feel like getting out, then I'll just go. Okay, but you, you pee in the ocean? Oh yeah, everyone pees in the ocean. All right, do you pee in the shower? I used to, then I was like, ew, that's disgusting. And then now on occasion, I, I do, maybe like. I do, easily. Why am I gonna get out to use the bathroom? It's just Cause like, it's gross. It's you gonna, get it done. It's gonna stain the bottom yellow. Do you clean it after? Dude, what's with you in the yellow? It doesn't stain yellow. One, there's water running and it's not like, it's not just sitting on top of the surface and like staining the ground. The water flushes it away. And if your pee is that yellow, once again, you got a problem. Drink some Aguafina. I guess. Next question. If you had to take a dump in a public bathroom and realize there's no toilet paper, what would you do? In the whole bathroom? Like, okay. No, you go into, so ready? Picture this. You go into the bathroom, you have to poop really badly. So you open the stall and you sit down, then realize when you're done that there's no toilet paper. First thing in the scenario. Okay. Reach under and try and grab from the stall next to me. Can't, because they're all on the same side, so you can't reach under. Next option, I would say, 
Hey. Anybody in here? And then someone goes, I'm here for you. <laughs> what? I'm here to kill you. Then I would say to take my too because I don't got toilet paper. All right, no, okay, so you ask? Or if not, I'll probably just sit in there and hopefully somebody will come in. If not, I'd probably squeeze my butt. <laughs> what? Squeeze your butt? <laughs> What? <laughs> Clench it? Clench my honey. <laughs> Clench my honey for a second, pull up my pants, do a little A waddle? Waddle to You go the... like this. <laughs> yeah, do that. And then get some paper towels. Paper towels? Yeah. What do you mean paper towels? Like what I would use to wash to dry my hands? Why not just go to another stall and grab toilet paper? You said you can't do that. No, I said you can't reach under. Then because... I would crawl under with my butt up. <laughs> This is so weird. What would you do? I'd probably waddle or I'd ask somebody. Those are mine. So you took my answer? Sure, I just get out of the stall and walk, walk out. With of your it. pants down? No. Or maybe, yeah. If there's no one in there, sure, I'll, I'll yeah. leave my butt out. But if not, I'll. Pull up your pants for a second? Yeah. Clench uh -huh. and Clen do the waddle. Do the waddle. Waddle <laughs> technique. Ew, okay. That's... All right. What's the weirdest thing you've ever practiced kissing? On? Yeah. You've practiced kissing, have you? No, I've never practiced kissing. Oh, I have. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think I ever have. Actually, you know what? But it wasn't practicing. It was more of like a trend kind of thing. Remember that? I think it was like an app that you would kiss your phone and it would tell you how good of a kisser you are. No, it was like a thing in school. I'm not like kissing my phone. <laughs> no? It was. Oh, maybe just for you and your friend. You don't make out with the phone. You just like put your lips to it. No, I've never heard of that before. It, it, it's You've thing. never practiced kissing? No. Like not on the mirror? No. Nope. I've practiced in kissing mirror. in the mirror. To start kissing yourself? Well, sometimes I want to see what I look like up close. Do so you ever go in the mirror, you like this? And then, and then like, what? You just started like, you were like, damn, like, no, I, I'm look like I look good. No, I'm like, ew. That's disgusting. And then you start kissing yourself? Do a little, and I don't close my eyes and I see what I look like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next question. Have you ever farted in class and blamed it on someone else? Oh, I definitely have. I don't think so. I definitely have. You know, like the really bad ones, maybe they snuck out. What? Ew, it happens. Will, you were that kid in class? No, no, no. Ew, See, here's the thing. You were that kid in class? I wasn't that kid in class. You were. But if it was that kind of day and, like, you know you couldn't hold it in, sure, it sneaks out. And you blame it on somebody else? If someone asks, I'll be like, I have no idea. Might have been Junior. <laughs> What about the when you're sitting in class and you have to fart so bad and it's so hard to hold in and you're like oh, Like that you've never had that You're lying. I, you're I lying. know. There's no way. I farted in class before but my farts are usually silent You know like the fart would be loud so you like hold it in <laughs> Okay, whatever. I, I think we have different farts Apparently. <laughs> Where's the grossest place that you've dropped food and then picked it up and ate it? Uh, I'm a germaphobe, so I feel like I don't really have the very good answers for this question. I feel like me neither. If it's on my floor at home, sure. Yeah, me, I'll do that. But anywhere else, I feel like I don't normally pick it up and eat it. Like, There's why? no way in like a fast food place, if I drop something, I'm eating it. No, like what's the point? Also, I feel like it depends on what kind of food you drop though. Like mm -hmm. if I drop a chip, that's a little different than dropping like... A hamburger. Sure. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just saying. Piece of chicken. Probably the grossest place is probably, I don't know, my basement, maybe floor? <laughs> what about you? Actually, maybe I've dropped something outside for like a second, but I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Would you choose to live your life again or choose someone else's? Like after my life is over? Sure. Probably my life again. I don't really. Yeah, I right? agree. I like mine. So yeah. I feel like anyone would answer this question the same way. Like somebody else's. Like, are you guaranteed somebody you get to pick? Like, then I'd say freaking no. Hannah Montana. Like, I don't know. Oh, you want to be Hannah Montana? I'm just saying. Like, then you pick somebody like freaking. You get the best of both <laughs> worlds. Take you back to the... I don't know. Next question. What is your weirdest guilty pleasure? Cheese. Yeah, you love cheese. It's so weird. I know. <laughs> like, she'll put cheese on anything. Huh? Anything. I just eat cheese by itself, too. I, I don't really have weird guilty pleasures. Do I? I don't eat anything that weird. Do like, you like the smell of your own fart? Uh, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> so you Dude, like it. Oh, yeah. All right. So you like it. No, I don't like it. <laughs> but anyone who thinks their own farts smell bad to them is lying. Your own farts do not smell bad to you. Why is that? You don't like it, but you, they don't smell bad to oh, you. Oh, remember the video you said you wanted to do? What? This is something Will told me he wants to do. He wants everybody to fart in a jar, like five people, and see if you can determine your own fart. You said that to me. When did I ever say I swear you said that to me. I don't think I ever said you that. You did! You said that! 
But I listen, me. that is a good idea. You t I know that's a good idea because you told me. I well, one, I would never do that because that's disgusting. You told me you want to do that. What? What is that? Salad? <laughs> <laughs> no, I would never do that because that's disgusting. But it is like a pretty like interesting question. So if you guys want to see this as a video, would you be able to tell which one's yours? I feel like you wouldn't be able to tell because after smelling other people's, you'd be like, ugh. Yeah, that's true. Jenna's got a question now. How many times do you poop a day? I think you're supposed to poop three times a day. <laughs> I think that's what you're supposed to. You're supposed to poop. That is not day. true. That is so not even true. That's not even close to true. You must be having some bad poop no, if you're I pooping didn't, three times a I didn't day. Say I, poop. Oh. I said I think you're supposed to. Look it up right now. I want to watch you. But I would say I probably poop like once. <laughs> because that's the normal. Three times a week to three times a day. But I think it's like every day is regular. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jenna has a problem with saying out to every single thing. My abs are sore. How many times do you poop a day, damn it? Once. Me too. Look, it says right here, there is no normal number of bowel movements. Just so you know. Oh, I have a question. You yeah. do? It says kiss in front of us. What? Have your friends around you influenced your personality? Yeah, I think so. A lot of people say that the people you surround yourself with is like... What you're gonna be. Yeah. I think that's be. where that comes from. Yeah. I also think that the way you talk and the jokes you make are influenced based off the people you're around also. Yeah. That was a bad question. <laughs> Final question. What is it? Have you ever picked your nose and put it under Jenna's car seat? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I've never done that. Guy, I've seen you do that. I don't put it under the car seat, I put it on the, the ground. <laughs> no, I've probably done that once. <laughs> and, and the reason why you're bringing this up is because you saw it happen. Yeah, I've seen it happen. All the other hundred times you've never seen. <laughs> have you ever picked your nose and ate it? No. No. I never have. I don't think so. <laughs> you definitely have. You are... You no! Oh my god! Probably when I was younger! Ew! Maybe when I was younger, That's I don't disgusting. know. That's disgusting. I could see myself doing that when I was like a kid. Never. But... I would never do that. <laughs> okay, little miss. I'm gonna put it underneath Jenna's car seat. No, I've only ever put it on the ground. <laughs> and it was one time. Okay, well. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a different kind of interesting video, so I hope you all liked it. He forgot his line. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. It really helps us out a lot. And we will catch you guys next week. Peace! Peace.